Hi, I'm Noel from CreationEffects.com and this is a tutorial for totally screwing up your footage in After Effects and by that I mean making it look like an old damaged VHS tape. So what you're seeing now is several different looks of heavily damaged VHS tapes and these were made using Creation VHS Effects which is an After Effects template that I created and it has eight finished presets which are these, which you're watching. So you can just drop in your footage and get this effect or you can build your own damaged VHS look. There's lots of effects here and they're all customizable. And you can see if I open the comp for one of these presets, I've got all these layers here. Each layer is an effect. So to build your own comp, you just copy and paste these layers. And if you want to customize the effect, you just select a layer and then adjust the slider controls in here. So let me show you the main features that it comes with and then I'll go over how to use the template for those of you who already have it. At the bottom, there's your transition effects. Just drop in your footage and you have 17 finished transition effects to use on the cuts in your video. So here's some samples of that. And you can see a demo of all of these on the Creation Effects website, creationeffects.com. And right above the transitions is the stock footage folder here. And there's 18 clips of static and snow which can be overlaid over your footage. Above that is the presets folder, eight finished damaged VHS looks, and all the effects are in separate layers and are customizable, so it's easy to lower the intensity of the damage or other basic characteristics of the effect. Each preset has a global control layer, which allows you to turn on and off multiple effects in unison, which is handy if you want multiple glitches to flicker on and off together. Above that is the video effects folder, which has all of the main effects. And there's 28 unique video effects in total. So in here you'll find effects like these wavy displaced lines that you often see on VHS tapes. And there's a uh, fast forward effect. Lots of color effects like color channel offset and random area saturation and uh, various hue, saturation, and lightness flickering. And there's block artifacts and some warping artifacts, pixelation and interlace and grain, um, a couple kinds of customizable static, a uh, TV turning off, a camcorder display, lots of useful effects like that, and just pretty much every glitch that I could find while studying actual damaged VHS tapes I created here and made it customizable with slider controls. And lastly, there's this audio folder, and inside there's 24 audio clips of various static or interference. So you can use those however you want. Uh, there's also this comp for applying some of After Effects audio filters. So you can do some pitch modulation and volume modulation, or some EQ, and uh, you can get some sounds like this. This one's for the girls. Okay, so you're ready to use the template. Uh, let me show you what you need to know. When you first open it up, you should see this instruction screen. Uh, your first step, as the instructions say, is to import your footage. You can just put it into this empty folder named Your Footage, and then put it into the comp named Put Your Footage Here at the top of your project panel. And this will allow you to preview all of the effects as well as the presets with your footage. You'll also see this other comp at the top here called Main Comp, Add Your Effects Here. And this is where you can build your own damaged VHS comp. Uh, you need to use this comp because it has a control layer in there. And the effects in this template all need a control layer or you'll get a bunch of errors. Also note that uh, most comps have an instructions layer so you can turn that on for helpful notes or instructions. And also individual layers often come with their own instructions on these markers. Uh, I think most effects are pretty self-explanatory but if you do get stuck no, you can double click the markers and get some instructions on using an effect. Okay, let's walk through the video effects folder first because it incorporates all the principles that you need to know. So just like the folders for the audio effects and the stock footage and the transition effects, I have this preview comp, video effects preview. And you'll always want to open that preview comp because that's where you'll preview your effects and then copy and paste them from there into your main comp. So now you see all these layers, each one has a different effect. Uh, just unhide a layer and do a RAM preview to test it out. And the layers are color-coded, 
Yellow layers are basic copy and paste effects. So you can just copy and paste the layer from here into your main comp uh, above your footage layer. And to customize a yellow layer, just select a layer and then adjust the slider controls in your effect controls panel here. Uh, one quick note about this effect controls panel here. If you have animation presets showing in here, I really recommend hiding those because they take up a lot of room and you're not going to need them. So just go to this triangle icon here and choose hide animation presets. And then you'll be able to see as many of the slider controls as possible. So yellow layers are copy and paste effects, and blue layers are pre-comp effects. So these were too complex to fit onto one layer, so I, I needed to build a separate comp for them. And you can see in your video effects folder, there's a folder called pre-comp effects. And inside, there's a folder for each blue layer or pre-comp effect. And inside each of those folders is a pre-comps folder with a comp named put your footage here. Uh, now, by default, all of these put your footage here comps already have your footage because you put it into the main put your footage here comp up here. So normally, back in your video effects preview comp, you can just turn on these blue layers and see the effect already working with your footage. And you could just copy this blue layer and paste it into your main comp. And this could actually replace your existing footage layer since it has your footage inside. So you can see that if I isolate any of these layers, the footage is here, unlike these yellow layers, which many are just adjustment layers. All right, so you'll notice that you can't really customize the effect using the slider controls when you select a blue layer. The customization options are actually inside the comp. So you can double click a blue layer or option click in CS3 and it'll open the comp and inside you'll see a red control layer and you can edit the default settings in there. Now let's say you want to use more than one pre-comp effect or blue layer in your comp. You can't just stack them on top of each other because you'll only see the effect that's on top. So that's where these put your footage here pre-comps come into play. If I wanted to combine this bottom static and displacement effect with this color channel offset effect, I can open the put your footage here comp of this color channel offset effect. And I'll delete the footage layer that's there by default. And so instead of that, I'm going to put my finished bottom and static displacement effect in here. And now you might think that you can open your color channel offset folder and just drag this finished effect into your main comp. And you could do that, but there's a better way that will give you more functionality. So instead, go back to your preview comp and copy the color channel offset folder from there and paste it into your main comp. The reason is these blue layers have expressions on them that point to the global control layer. And if you remember from the beginning, I mentioned that the global control layer can make multiple effects turn on and off in unison. So let me show you how to do that. This is a good feature if, for example, you want to have short bursts of multiple glitches in your video uh, to make any effect, yellow or blue, receive the global controls. First, you have to check this checkbox on the layer that says allow global control. And now if you go into your control layer, you can see that there's this checkbox named manual on off switch. So you can use that to turn your effects on and off in unison. And that checkbox can be keyframe too, which is handy. But if you want just random and automatic on off flickering of your effects, you can use these auto on off blinking controls. And you'll see these controls in every comp on almost every effect. Uh, it has these minimum and maximum on times and minimum and maximum off times. And these are in seconds. So these let you flicker the multiple effects on and off randomly, but all together with controlled timing. So to use these auto blinking controls, your manual switch must be on and your effects must have the allow global control checkbox checked. And also remember that each effect has its own set of local auto-blinking controls, which just affect that layer. 
So with the local controls used in conjunction with the global auto blinking controls, you really got a lot of control over when and how often you want your glitches to appear. And by the way, you may notice that these slider control values are red here. Uh, that means that they have expressions on them. So try to never use this reset button on slider controls because it will turn off the expressions and then it won't work right. If you do hit reset, you can turn an expression back on by hitting the U key to reveal the expressions. And then you find the one that's off and then turn it back on by clicking the little equal sign icon next to it. Okay, so that's all the most complicated stuff. The rest of the template is really pretty self-explanatory. I'll uh, quickly take you through it now. Uh, let's look at the presets. Most of you will probably want to go straight to those because they're quick and easy. But all the principles that you just saw with the yellow layers and the blue layers and customization, those all apply in these preset comps as well. So with these, you can see that there's eight presets. I recommend that you watch the video at creationeffects.com that showcases all eight presets and figure out which one you want. And then you can open its folder here inside the presets folder. Uh, the main comp inside has your finished preset. And you'll probably want to do a RAM preview to make sure everything looks and sounds the way that you want it. And you can see you have your yellow and blue layers again. Uh, there's just one blue layer here. But if you go to the pre-comp effects folder, you can see that there are actually two pre-comp effects used in this preset, and they're combined into this one layer. So to customize these effects, be sure you open the comps in here and not in the video effects folder, or just double click the layers directly. Also, remember to set your out point before you render these because these comps are all five minutes long. And allow yourself plenty of time to render, like over lunch or overnight, depending on the, uh, the length of your video. These presets have a lot of effects and can take a while to render. Moving on, I'll open the audio effects folder. You already saw that there's all these audio clips in here. To preview them, you can just open the audio clips preview comp and just turn on any layer. And then to preview it, just hit the period key on the numpad. If you want to add filters to the audio in your footage, you can open the audio effects folder and the audio effects comp. And the audio from your footage is already in the pre-comp by default, so you can just preview this and then use the control layer to customize it. And the control layer has these sections of controls for each effect, like pitch modulation, value modulation, and EQ. And the stock footage folder down here is pretty straightforward. There's a uh, preview comp to preview the clips. I recommend copying the ones that you want from this comp and pasting them into your main comp because these layers have expressions. So if you were to just drag the clips from this folder into your main comp, you wouldn't get the functionality of those slider controls. The solids folder, you can ignore that. Uh, just don't delete anything in there. And finally, the transition effects. Uh, you can open the preview comp here. You might want to shorten this if you're doing a RAM preview of these. Or you can go look at the video on creationeffects.com that shows all the transition effects and figure out which one you want that way. And when you find one, just open its folder and, and then the pre-comps folder and the put your footage here comp. And you'll notice that there's a marker at the five second mark here and it says, your cut slash edit should occur at this marker. Adjust your footage so that the first frame of your second shot in your edit is showing on this frame. So all we need to do for the transition effects is to put your footage in this comp and then line it up so that the cut occurs right here. And then the finished transition effect will be in this comp and you can just drag that comp to your main comp. So that about does it. I've, uh, I've tried to make the highest quality effects out there and in a way where they're easy to use and have all the customization options that anyone could want. You can check out my other templates. I've got digital video glitches and old film effects and lens flares and lots more. And all of my templates follow a similar format as this one. So if you familiarize yourself with one, the others will come naturally. And uh, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel to get updates when I release new products as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the effects and good luck on your project.